As the chair as uh, Active Bioenergy, uh, I'm here to listen and learn from the industry and all of the stakeholders how we could accelerate uh, bioenergy. Uh, ETIP is a great platform for businesses to come together, um, to develop ideas and take from that uh, new opportunities of new investment. This now will give you a short overview of the set plan, the temporary working groups, and especially this action aid, the renewables and transportation. It's a very interesting uh, event uh, to see what uh, could the future opportunities be regarding regulation and, and funding for research and development. So on one side we have to bring and continue to, to, to bring these positive messages. On the other it is very important that we have a stable legislation with a mandate for advanced biofuel starting 2021. It's very good that the industry is represented as well as uh, they can provide uh, realistic input figures so that the targets can also be made realistic. The environment of advanced biofuels, renewable fuels and modern bioenergy is supported through the entire technology readiness level from infancy to commercial maturity by customized research and innovation policies that are put forward by the Commission's General Directorate for Research and Innovation. Well, I'm going to talk about the IEA's Bioenergy Roadmap, which was published last November. Um, the roadmap highlights the very important role of bioenergy in low-carbon scenarios. We don't think you can have a low-carbon scenario without a substantial uh, increase in the amount of sustainable bioenergy. Very important to develop liquid and gaseous fuels that can be used for heavier forms of transport that cannot be easily electrified. And it will be quite several decades before we can imagine um, regular uh, airplane flights um, using electricity. So we have to have uh, jet fuel. And um, what kind of better uh, renewable jet fuel than uh, jet fuel made from uh, abundant wood resources in Europe? I think it's, it's excellent that the Commission, people from industry, from science um, and in-betweens can mingle and exchange views. I'm attending this plenary meeting today and tomorrow because I want to take ideas on energy crops on marginal land because it's the best option to produce bioenergy, especially advanced biofuels. I was really very pleased to see that sustainable feedstock is a key issue uh, in uh, uh, promoting, in, in producing first and then in promoting advanced biofuels uh, in Europe. The great presentations discussing the potential. For example, we heard from IEA that in any low carbon scenario, bioenergy has a significant role to play. The stakeholder meeting has shown that we are really still very active and more than 150 registered participants. Um, they gave a good mix of people with long experience and fresh people. All solutions are needed uh, and we need to get the deployment quickly. Uh, good news is that there are many sustainable alternatives existing already today. And I would like to acknowledge the important role that ET Bioenergy is playing and has played over the past years in the sector of biofuels and advanced biofuels. Climate perspective we are actually in a bit of a hurry and at the same time we have to do a lot. Uh, this results uh, in a situation where it's not actually either or competition with technologies. We actually do need them all.